Welcome students, today's lecture we are going to start with petty cash book. As we have discussed three type of cash book in our last session that is single column cash book, double column cash book and petty cash book. So, today our discussion will start with petty cash book and then we will proceed to other books. Now, what is a petty cash book? Petty cash book is maintained when there are large number of small payments like conveyance, stationery, cartage, etcetera. If we record all these payments in the main cash book, it will make it very bulky or cumbersome. So, to avoid this, all the small payments are recorded in a separate book called petty cash book. It is generally maintained on impress system. Now, impress system means maintaining the same balance of cash after a particular time period. Let us see what we do in impress system by way of an example. Suppose, we give 5000 rupees to petty cashier. He incurs 3500 rupees as various expense within say a week and then the main cashier will give him back 3500, the amount he has incurred. So, it will make the balance again 5000, that is the same balance will continue after a particular time period. Now, this can be done weekly, every 15 days or a month, depending upon the situation as to how many expenses are incurred in how many days. Petty cash book has many columns for payments, one column for one payment and it ends the last column with miscellaneous for all those expenses which are not very specific in nature followed by a remarks column. In the remarks column, we write the nature of payment, but on the receipt side there is only one column, date voucher number, particulars, these are all common for both receipt and payment. So, we start with receipt and then date, voucher number, particulars and then the total amount and then the classification of various expenses. Now, what are the advantages of this petty cash book? First and the very, very important one is, it saves the time of chief cashier. He can concentrate on big payments, he discharges duties effectively. Next, effective control, it leads to less chances of fraud and embezzlement. Third, convenient recording, recording insignificant details in the main cash book means we are going against the principle of materiality. All these small things, 10 rupees conveyance and 25 rupees stationery you know these are insignificant for a big business. So, we make a separate book for them and see the total scenario there rather than making the main cash book very cumbersome. Yes, to start with the format of petty cash book, the first column is amount received, then date, particulars, voucher number, amount paid and the various expenses columns ending with the miscellaneous expenses and followed by remarks. Now, let us take an example to understand how do we record in the petty cash book. Let us begin with the first transaction that is start with 5000 on 1st April. Now, this will be written in the amount received left hand side. Next second transaction is stationary purchased 300. Now, this will be recorded in the stationary column as well as in the amount column, total amount column, because all the amount paid will be written twice, once in their respective column and once in the amount paid column. Now, this is done to cross tally the 
total of the amount of expenses with the individual balance of different columns in the end. This will help us to make sure that all the entries are recorded properly. Point number 3, purchase stamps 50 rupees. This will come in postage column and the total column. I told you two columns. Next, purchased sanitation disinfectant. This will be in miscellaneous column as well as total column. Amount is 150. Now, this is coming in miscellaneous column because there is no specific head. So, let us take it in miscellaneous column. Next point number 5, bus auto fare 50 rupees. This will come in conveyance column and total column definitely it will come. Next, cartage 55, this will be in conveyance column and total column. Next, photocopy 40 rupees, miscellaneous column and total column. Next, courier charges 120 rupees, this will come in postage column and the total column and so on for all other items if you want to record. Now, how to close this book and calculate the balance? Now, when we will total the total column, it will be 765, 765 and individually when you total the columns, stationery will be 300, postage will be 170, miscellaneous will be 190 and conveyance will be 105. If you total all these individual columns, this is also coming 765. So, it is tallied. Now, the balance will be 5000 which we have given to you minus 765 the expenses total. So, we are remaining with 4, 2, 3, 5, 4235 rupees. Now, this will be our petty cash balance, which will be shown as an asset in the balance sheet. Now, what is impress system and how it will apply here? The main cashier will return the total of the expenses 765 to the petty cashier and it will again make the balance 5000. So, this is impress system. Now, let us start with another important book that is purchase day book, which is known as purchase journal also. All the credit purchase of goods in trade only will be recorded in purchase day book. Please remember only goods in trade, all other credit purchases like furniture, building, machine etcetera will be recorded in journal proper. But please remember if it is cash purchase, it will be in cash book not journal proper. Now, what are the source document for all these transactions? Invoices and bills received by you. Entries are always made in the purchase book with the net amount. Please remember net amount, trade discount is excluded, subtracted from the main amount and then the net amount is recorded in purchase day book. The format of purchase day book is, we start with date, then invoice number, name of the supplier, ledger folio column small one and amount amount is net amount after deducting trade discount. Okay. The monthly total of the purchase book is posted to the debit of purchase account and the individual supplier's account is credited and the page number of that ledger on which that supplier account is there will be written in the ledger folio column of purchase book, right? The page number of the supplier account 
will be written there to connect it up. Now, let us see a few example of purchase book entries that is how to record them in the book. Let us take the first example purchased from the Panchu limited 20 computers at the rate of 7500 each. Invoice number 44 on 24th November 2014, trade discount is 10 percent. Now, in the purchase book, first of all in the date column we will write 24th November 2014, then in the invoice column we will write 44 and in the name column we will be writing Dipanshu Limited the name of the supplier and in the amount column we are going to write 7500 into 20 1 lakh 50 thousand minus 10 percent discount 15 thousand the net amount 1 lakh 35 thousand will be there in the amount column. Please note ledger folio will come after the posting in the supplier account that is the Pancho limited. Let us take another example purchase 30 mouse that is a device you know with the computer from Paras limited at the rate of 55 each on 20th November 2014 trade discount 5 percent and cash discount 10 percent on early payment. That means, if we pay before the credit period then we will get an additional discount 10 percent. Now, please note cash discount is not to be considered as it does not relate to purchase book. Now, how we will record all these things in various columns? First date we will write 20th November 2014 then invoice number whatever is given and then the name of supplier Paras limited. In the amount column we will write 30 into 55 that is 1650, but please remember we have to deduct 5 percent trade discount which makes it 1567.50. Please remember no cash discount. Now, the total of purchase book will be 136567.50. Let us talk about the next book now, purchase return book. It records goods returned due to bad quality, defect, etcetera. For every return, we prepare a debit note. If we prepare a debit note, supplier will give a credit note because there are two aspect of the transaction one debit one credit. Both these debit note and credit notes are serially numbered dated. Format is same jaise ki purchase book. Debit note means the debit raised against a party, but other than sale which means additional sum recoverable from supplier and credit note means credit raised other than credit purchase of goods for the purpose of goods received back from a customer. Generally, it is prepared in red ink just to distinguish it from the debit note or we can change the color of that voucher. Format is again the same like purchase book except that in place of invoice number now we will write debit note number. So, students in today's discussion we have understood about petty cash book, how many columns are there, how to record it and what is the impressed system of petty cash book maintaining the same balance and we have also discussed about purchase book, purchase return book, debit note and credit note. In our next session we are going to follow it with sales book, sales return book, journal proper, how they are prepared, how many entries are there, which type of entries come there. Till then enjoy yourself, happy learning, bye.